God created male and female. The Church of God in Christ Sunday School Lesson Study, for Sunday the 10th of September, 2023, from Genesis chapter 2, verses 18 through 25, clearly tells us, that the sovereign will, of the living God of all of creation, was to have two genders. Uniting as one unit. To populate his new world creation, called Earth. Let's ponder that thought with some logical observations. First of all dear saints, and wannabe saints that have some sexual hang-ups. Just say Amen. Pray for me. Shame the devil. If we logically examine the godly physical design of Adam, the first human created by God, and his male gender anatomy, well, we can plainly see that it was not possible for Adam, to impregnate himself, and produce sons that could impregnate themselves, and populate God's new world creation, earth. Amen. Since God is knowledgeable, pure, and perfect, 
Adam was made pure, and perfect, but with one very important missing element, Adam did not have the knowledge, nor the ability, to reproduce little atoms, since Adam alone could not reproduce that was a creation problem, that the divine creator of all things, had already planned to solve, with the consent of Adam, the all-knowing knowledgeable God, the mighty creator, had to train, and teach Adam, the facts of life. Adam needed an education. Most of us know from experience how important it is, to have a good education. We realize without a good education, we have to struggle day in, and day out, to live, and obtain our needs, using substandard abilities and resources, to provide a living comfortable abundant life, here on earth, God's great creation, get a good education, and shame the devil. Education, the educating of Adam, the first man created in God's image. How did God educate Adam? Well my dears we can clearly see that God began the education of Adam by introducing him to the animal kingdom he created. God introduced Adam to males, and females, of each species, and God allowed Adam, to examine each of them and take knowledgeable notes, of each of their genders, and examine the mating of their two genders, and then observe how their mating of two genders reproduced, male, and female offspring babies like themselves. Well my beloved of God, once Adam completed his facts of life educational studies, and named each animal, Adam was ready to participate in God's plan to reproduce mankind in his image. Yes Dr. Adam, with his facts of life knowledge, received from God, was ready to put what he had learned from God, into practice. Adam was willing to comply, and complete his assignment, which was to populate God's new world called Earth, with his pure, and perfect offspring babies. Just a side note to remember about Dr. Adam's education. As part of Adam's education, Adam was taught by God, and observed, that he was superior, to all of the animals, he was introduced to by God. Because he not only talked, and walked with God, but he realized he was made perfect, and pure, and made in the image of God. Back to our lesson study. Now it was time for Adam to complete his portion of God's creation by producing children, male and female, to populate the earth. Dr. Adam was now educated, and was not delusional about performing the task of populating the earth, by himself. Adam knew from his animal studies that a female being that was compatible with him, and also made in the image of God, had to be pure and perfect like himself. The Bible teaches us, not to be unevenly yoked together, in marriage. Because one half of the marriage will outpace, or slow down the progress of the marriage, causing emotional discontent, which leads to separation of the man, and the woman genders, that were united in holy matrimony, for the glorification of God their Creator. As saints we are to glorify our Father in heaven with a marriage sanctioned by God in heaven, here on his earth. Walk together children. Don't you get weary. Walk together children. Don't you get weary. Walk together children. Don't you get weary. There's a great camp meeting, in the promised land. Back to our lesson study again. Dr. Adam knew that only God could create it a pure, and perfect female companion to help him populate the earth. Like Adam we realize that only God can create things that are pure and perfect, so the educated Adam, consented for the God of pure, and perfect creations, to create from his body. A pure, and perfect female companion. That Adam didn't name. But simply called a woman. Today's scripture content. The Lord God said. It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the wild animals, and all the birds in the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them, and whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. So the man gave names to all the livestock, the birds in the sky and all the wild animals. But for Adam no suitable helper was found. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and then closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man. And he brought her to the man. The man said, 
This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh, she shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother. And is united to his wife. And they become one flesh. Adam and his wife were both naked. And they felt no shame. From Genesis chapter 2, verses 18 through 25, from the New International Version of the Holy Bible. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say, You must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say, You must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it, or you will die. You will not certainly die. The serpent said to the woman, For God knows that when you eat from it your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye, and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized they were naked, so they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God, as he was walking in the garden. In the cool of the day, and they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man. Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden. And I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? The man said, The woman you put here with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree, and I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the woman, what is this you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this. Cursed are you above all livestock and all wild animals. You will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head, and you will strike his heel. To the woman he said, I will make your pains in childbearing very severe, with painful labor you will give birth to children. Your desire will be for your husband, and he will rule over you. To Adam he said, Because you listened to your wife and ate fruit from the tree about which I commanded you, you must not eat from it. Cursed is the ground because of you. Through painful toil you will eat food from it all the days of your life. It will produce thorns and thistles for you, and you will eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your brow you will eat your food until you return to the ground, since from it you were taken, for dust you are and to dust you will return. Adam named his wife Eve. Because she would become the mother of all the living. The Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them, and the Lord God said, The man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He must not be allowed to reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. So the Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. After he drove the man out, he placed on the east side of the Garden of Eden a cherubim with a flaming sword flashing back and forth to guard the way to the Tree of Life. From Genesis chapter 3, verses 1 through 24, from the New International Version of the Holy Bible. Well my dears let's conclude our lesson with the simple statement that God made the opposite sex attractive, and enjoyable, so that we could populate the earth, and glorify him, if we are actively having sexual encounters outside of a godly ordained, sanctioned marriage, between a man, and a woman, then we are lustfully committing sexual and immoral sins, that do not glorify God, and his creation, shame the devil, and repent of your sins, and learn to glorify God with all of your soul mind, and body, as you grow to love, and obey your creator. Well that is the sum of our study lesson today. If you enjoyed these quick study lessons please encourage us by sharing this lesson, and becoming a subscriber to our Gospel Works YouTube channel please. You can do that by exercising simple faith and clicking on the thumbs up like button below. Thank you sincerely, Gospel Works hard for you.
Tune in next week for the next preview review of the coming Sunday school lesson study. Thank you so much. A benediction prayer of blessing for you and the family of God. May God continually bless you and keep you safe and make his face to shine upon you as you gaze into heaven and behold his face as he awards you with eternal life that resurrection day because of the simple actions of your simple faith in him, a living word of God and Jesus, the anointed Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thou art worthy today. Thou art worthy of praise today. Souls say yes. Our souls say yes. Yes, Lord. Our souls say yes, Lord. All day yes, Lord. Yes to your will. Yes to your ways. Yes, Lord. We humbly pray with a joyful heart today. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord. Help me to praise him, saints. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thou art worthy of all other praise. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Let the redeemed of the Lord say, Amen. Amen. Say Amen. Amen.